In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some awesome new airbrushed bodies that we've got. I think they look absolutely awesome. So let's have a closer look and I'll talk about what cars are going to go on. Welcome back to the channel, Adam from RC Action Australia. Big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Um, super, super happy with where the channel's at and we're always growing. And especially, I have not posted a video in the last month uh, because I did have a, a baby and took some time out for that. And then obviously I've had an unexpected uh, family member pass away. So I obviously took a little bit more time out for that. But uh, while all that was happening, I still was gathering bits and pieces. I was still playing around a little bit with RC and I still had projects on the go in the background. Now, if you would remember a few videos ago, I did the Plasma Edge um, beginner's build. We've got a whole host of upgrades for that as well. And I'm going to do a completely upgraded TTOB um, with full Tamiya upgrades. Uh, all the blue alloy parts and whatnot and I'm building that into an MS edition and while I was thinking about that I thought it'd be fantastic to get a custom airbrushed body. Now I'd searched and searched and searched for a custom airbrush artist and um, Bradley from the To Me A Vintage Australia page, um, go and check that out on Facebook it's a great page. Um, he suggested James Ainsley Designs. He'd done some bodies for him in the past. So I got on to James and basically told him, I'm gonna send you a couple of bodies. I like that sort of TRF inspired design and I'll leave it up to you. So a couple of weeks had passed, they came back in the mail and I'm absolutely blown away with the quality. As you can see there, he's done that sort of signature sort of TRF colors and design. Um, and they're all sort of metallic colors. The shading is absolutely awesome. We've obviously got the wing done as well. And while I sent that away, I figured if we're going to upgrade the plasma edge, I picked up a uh, cheap uh, plasma edge body that wasn't painted and wing. So I got him to do the a similar kind of design on a plasma edge body and the wing. So obviously once we've got... Um, that one upgraded, I can put that uh, body set on there as well just to make it look a bit special. So um, James Ainley, Ainsley Designs, highly recommend him. The, the quality of the work is fantastic, price-wise fantastic. Um, I'm recommending him based on the quality. He didn't do anything for free for me or anything like that. Um, I paid for all of this and I am just purely recommending because the quality is outstanding. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, uh, well, you hopefully you like the look of these bodies. Um, chuck in the comments down below if you do. And um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So once things sort of started to arrive, I was still scouring eBay a little bit and I did pick up a car that I kind of missed a few years ago. Um, and this one popped up and um, I offered the seller an offer. Um, which he accepted, which I was quite surprised about. Um, he threw in a few other extra things as well, and um, I can't complain with the deal I got. So it's the DFO, DFO3 um, chassis buggy, um, and it's the Kinghawk. Now, it's not something that I've seen, I can ever remember being in a hobby shop, and it's not something I see, um, you know, even if you type it into, say, YouTube, there's like one or two videos on the actual Keyhawk um, body set version. So I thought it was something cool to have on the channel, plus have in the collection. Um, and uh, the car is already built, not something that I probably, I've been burned in the past with sort of pre-built cars, but um, this one is actually quite good. I'll just show you quickly. Um, you know, obviously a few things with the body, you know, me being in the hobby for a while and, you know, I'm pretty particular with some of the decals and whatnot. 
um, but I cannot complain with it. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's brand new. Um, the seller said he had uh, built it and basically used it as, as a display car. Everything's brand new. It's super, super smooth. So I don't think I'm going to have to pull it apart, um, sort of double check anything. And the thing that I really, really like about this car is, we'll take the body off. The body is sort of like the like an F1 inspired sort of body. So I, I, that's something that I like. And obviously I do like the DFO3 uh, chassis. Um, I do have the DFO3 RA rally car and that's a really, really, really nice chassis. So we'll do a full video on this one in the future, but I just thought um, I'd show you something new that has come in. Um, so that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Very much appreciated. Um, and obviously, whilst I had been away from making content, um, the subscribers still were rolling in and people were still interacting with the video. So that was really, really cool. So um, like I said, this today's video was just purely to show off a few new bodies that I had um, acquired and had painted and let you know uh, where they'll be coming up to next on the channel. So um, as always, thanks for watching Hit one of these videos that's appearing around me if you want to see some more content, uh, but until next time, I'll see you then. Bye